Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5google.com and this is Microsoft's Arrow Launcher for Android. It's designed to be simple, productive and intelligent and is the company's latest attempt to become vital to your smartphone experience. It's a simple user interface with three home screens. The first thing you'll be instructed to do is swipe up from the bottom of the screen to reveal some important apps and contacts. This is accessible from any home screen and can be dismissed by a simple swipe down. Now the three home screens are broken down into three categories and they can't be changed. The main screen or the middle screen is your apps screen. On the top you'll find a row dedicated to recently opened apps while a grid of 12 frequently used apps are given a space in the middle. You can remove any of these apps if they're not to your liking. To get to all the other apps you can just launch the app drawer by pressing the usual icon on the bottom row. And Arrow arranges these alphabetically. You can scroll up and down quickly using the letters on the right or search for specific apps using the search tool. To the right of the middle screen is the notes and reminders screen and here you can, as the name suggests, create short notes or reminders. Creating notes or alerts is really simple. Just start typing in the text field and hit enter. You can tap the star to prioritize and set alarms or just delete them. The final screen to the left of the middle screen is your people home screen. Here's where you get quick access to your contacts. Like the app screen, it organises people into recent and frequent. Access your entire phone book by tapping the three dots in the top right corner, or go to your phone dialer by tapping the dialer icon. If you want to change any settings, head back to the pop-up menu and hit the settings cog. Here you can change your wallpaper quickly, check for updates, and set Arrow as your default launcher. Overall, it's a nice enough launcher. A little lacking in customization, but I like the way it's designed to be intuitive and give you quick access to what you need the most. It kind of reminds me a little of Yahoo's Aviate launcher, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. There are two ways you can get Arrow launcher on your Android device. You can either download the APK directly or you can request an invite to Microsoft's Insider program and get access that way. I'll leave links in the description box below. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. Follow me, give me questions, suggestions, let me know your thoughts on this launcher. Will you be installing it on your Android phone? I'll see you again soon.